Hey guys, it's Kiosha. I am back again. Um, as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, um, I am working or I'm about to start on like a DIY canvas abstract painting. Heavy on the abstract. I mentioned this in my vlog, but and I did a little shopping for it, but today I'm actually ready to put the frame and I'm ready to kind of put everything together. I'm ready to do everything aside from like the actual painting. Um, so, and I have this to look at the length of the beams that I got, but this is gonna be a massive painting. So the top and the bottom pieces were 80 inches. Whatever that equals, I don't do math, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen <laughs> and then the length for the side pieces were 60 inches and then I got two support beams. They're also 60 inches. So it's gonna be a massive painting. Um, some of the supplies I got, I got a hot glue gun, I got some Gorilla Glue sticks for the hot glue gun. I got a, um, like a power stapler, commercial grade stapler. And then I got staples for that. Um, I got some long nails to kind of go through um, the wood pieces that I got. Um, I got a canvas, it's like nine by 12, so that's huge. I got some spackle um, to create texture, right, on the um, canvas. And as a quick note, this is not an original idea. I got this from DIY with KB. She's amazing. If you haven't heard from her or heard of her, she is absolutely amazing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna roll with. Or probably sometime tomorrow, I'll pick up the paint for it. Um, I'm thinking of like a blue gray. Um, I bought some gold paint, kind of like an accent color. And then I, I'm going to get like a white paint just to kind of have a clean base or whatever. Um, so I am about to begin and I'm going to take you guys on the process as I make this canvas. So step one is today, putting the wood together, getting that stable, wrapping the canvas on the wood and stapling that in and probably um, putting the spackle on the canvas. So. Stay tuned. with the, um, I'm dark, but whatever. I just finished with the Gorilla Glue. That shit dries fast. It dried in like two minutes. Like I'll lift this up in a minute so y'all can see it's dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and hammer the nails in and uh, make this super stable and then we'll go forth with the canvas.
I was using it first. They were too thick. So I had to leave and go get these. Got one in, that was pretty hard, but. This DIY stuff is a lot more complicated than I thought. While I was hammering this nail, you probably can't see this far away. While I was hammering this nail in, this board completely came unlodged. I used the Gorilla Glue, and it's really strong. Like, Gorilla Glue is literally holding this frame together right now. Um, but I guess it was so much banging, this dislodged. So, I'm waiting on my trusty glue gun to heat back up and I'm gonna re-glue it and finish nailing but yeah just wanted to pop in this shit ain't sweet all right <laughs> all right guys so it is the next day and yesterday was kind of a fail because this wood let's show you this wood is very cheap. Focus, focus. And it kept splitting every time we tried to stick a nail in, right? So I was able to get nails in everywhere else. Um, there's still issues, but I was able to get nails in. So the solution was to buy, whoops, these thingies. What are these called? Um, mending pleats. And then to get some short nails and essentially on each side to make this frame strong. Because even though there's nails everywhere but here, it's still kind of flimsy. And when I put the plaster on, or not the plaster, but the spackle on, and then when I put the paint on, it's going to get heavy. So I'm going to put these kind of every joint on both sides and then hopefully it'll be more stable um, this has turned out to be oh don't mind that piece of box a lot of work but see you guys in a bit off the excess and I'm gonna start 
this damn um start putting this damn spackle on I'm a slave for the cash got snakes in the grass no breaks on the head but it's all fun we done seen it all heard it all heard enough give me space for I murder y'all ten bad bitches here I'm a curve them all 12 missed calls and I still made a curtain call here to light it up lighten up here it is I pulled things as taut as I could because that spackle and stuff is going to be heavy. Um, here's the back. Yeah, she did that. Sure did. <clears throat> okay. You see that? I fucking did that. Me. I did that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The next step. I'm going to put this spackling on. Um, and apparently this is pink and it dries white so it lets you know when it's dry. This tub does not look big but it's quite heavy. So when I put this on this canvas, this is going to get very heavy. Like I have another full thing just like this and then like a smaller one just like this. But yeah, here we go, baby. Let's see what we got. Right. Here we go, guys. Here I'm talking, ain't right enough, tighten up. Everything that I came for, I left with. I don't bang sets, I just bang on the set list. Going past supper when I came for the breakfast. Put me in your prayers, I might put you on the guest list. Young niggas in the bank list. Gold in my soul, got the same on my necklace, bitch. So there are two 32 ounce containers of speckle on this canvas, right? And the speckle, I'm not making a pink painting, right? This is going to dry white and it's basically just going to, let's see if you can see it, it's just going to create texture. Can you see? Like for the actual painting. It's just to create texture. So once this dries, hopefully it's dry tomorrow, I'm gonna go over this with a white coat. I think it's like Chantilly white or something. Um, and then, ooh, I will add the color. But yeah, this thing is massive. Um, it is basically, what, 80, 80 inches, on the top 80 inches on the bottom and then 60 and 60 so this is massive and where it's gonna go excuse the house I'm gonna get rid of one of these couches probably on one of them um, then move this stuff over here but yeah the painting is going to go there so it's it's quite big so um, ooh, I'm basically done for the day because I have to let this dry and I'll probably pick up the paint tomorrow in the morning I hope it's dry by then and then maybe on my lunch break do like the base coat but yeah see you guys all right so here is the canvas this morning um, it is mainly dry there are some thick spots that still have I don't know if you can see it like a let me find a good one like a tinge of pink to them like right here um but it's almost dry so um i am about to let me flip this <clears throat> i'm about to go to ace hardware and get my paint and so the base coat is going to be white it's called chantilly white and then the kind of it's it's not going to be a lot of it, but it's like this blue gray color that I picked. I can't remember the name of it, but you'll see it in a bit. And then I have a little bit of gold. I got this from Michaels. 
I'm not going to use a bunch of this. I'm, when I say I'm going to use a tiny bit, I'm going to use a tiny bit because in the living room, the couches are like white, off-white. The dining chairs are like, like a royal blue. And the bottom of the dining chairs, kind of, they're gold. The coffee table has copper on the bottom and copper on the handle. So I just kind of want to throw this in to kind of bring things together a little bit. Mm. What the fuck? Mm. Okay. <sighs> so, this is, oh, so this is my gray blue that I was talking about. It's called New Providence Navy. So you see it's blue, but it's kind of gray. It's really cool toned. So that's this. That's kind of what I'm going to kind of sparingly put on here. Like I said, this is abstract. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting, but we'll see. And this is just a white, right? This is the white it is. It's the Chantilly white. And so these are the... Mm. This is the mainish color, and this will kind of be an accent color. This gold, yeah. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real, baby. Listen to me. Here's the. When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Late o'clock, body talk There's no need to bring it up Nothing you say makes it better white coat of paint on unfortunately I ran out of paint right and so there are little spots that I need to fill in I got a quart of paint the problem is can canvas it just soaks I mean it just drinks paint like <laughs> everything I put on there just soaked up so this honestly should not have taken you know a full quart of paint but it sure did so I had to order another one I'm gonna probably uh, can you see this I'm gonna probably pick it up this evening Ooh, that's my shadow and then tonight out you know covering these little spots all right and then once I'm done with that in the morning I'll probably pull out the blue and the gold. But I've got to finish this base. Like, oh yeah, look at these little spots. Yeah, I've got to cover this up. But that's where we are in the process.
right guys so today is the next day this bad boy is dry and um it's ready to be hung like I'm, I'm really proud of this I think it's really cute and um for my first stab at anything like this like I think this is awesome 